Hi guys, it's me, Teleri Tries, back with another video. Now today, we're gonna play a map that some people can't play because it costs, hmm, something called money, and I don't think everyone has money. Now as you see, I'm gonna start the map within human mode, and let's go. As you can see, we're in the Empress of Asia modern mode, and as you can see, everything's good in Asia, China, and uh, India, you know, Pakistan, Iran, wait. Why is there only that little bit of Russia? Hello? Where are the other parts of Russia? And oh, yet yeah, North Korea and Taiwan and all these good countries. But most importantly, what we're going to play today is somewhere called the United States. Yep, that's right. United States is only Hawaiian small islands. There's no mainland. There's just the islands. Many people who say USA has a mainland, but I just think that's a fallacy. You know, nothing too wrong. You see, USA is famous for the Navy, so I'm just exercising it. You know, nothing really too wrong. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And oops, I just accidentally declared war on China. Well, anyway, it's a communist country, so I could just easily defeat it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna disembark my king. Are we a monarchy? Huh, that's weird. As you can see, China doesn't have an army. It's so easy to invade China. I wonder why USA isn't doing it right now. It's totally not because China actually has a real army with a point of 1.5 million recruits and has many experienced veterans. No, 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 totally. Just because, you know, there's someone called <clears throat> Donald Trump who's so stupid that he can never govern a country. After defeating China, I decided I wanted a friend. And what perfect friend it is to have than other than North Korea. Yes, of course, I'm pretty sure that North Korea doesn't have any massacres or any of those type of violation to human rights. Now, after invading Vietnam and Manchuria, I'm gonna invade a place that rightfully belongs to China. Or should I say America now, because America is now China. And that is, my friend, Mongolia. Yeah, you Mongolian bastards. You could think that you could just be away from me. No, come to America. I promise I'm gonna spread democracy, capitalism, and all that good stuff. After defeating Mongolia, I have to prevent the spread of communism by attacking Russia. Now, Russia is very communist, even though it's already a federation, but hey, I'm secretly wanting for the natural resources it has. After defeating Russia totally not for its natural resources, I decided that we would have a poll. Since everyone loves its democracy, why not have a recognition saying I am the most powerful country in the world. Of course everyone would vote for yes, and totally not everyone in the world would declare war on me, even my allies. And the election's about to come out and... Oh, why did everyone hate me? 17 to 0? Come on! Well, bad news, I have to declare war on everyone. Well, no worries, I just destroyed all of them and puppeted Taiwan. Isn't that just nice? Ah, all the blue, the democracy in Asia. Oh, it feels so good. Now, these are the last two parts I'm going to take. And victory is mine. Now, thanks for watching this video and I hope you like and subscribe. Bye-bye.